Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, if you follow my Instagram, I have been away for a week or so. I was basically focusing on private readings as well as doing interviews, listening to people's stories, and I have been learning introspective hypnosis, which I will be adding to my website in the future. I'm currently practicing. It's an amazing tool to help people figure out why things happening the way they're happening. It's all led by your subconscious. It's awesome. It's powerful. It's another level. So whenever I'm ready and whenever I feel like I am strong enough to do so for um, people whom I don't know, I'm going to let you know. I'm currently pra practicing on people around me as well as some other people that I don't really know closely. I've met them on the int internet. So, you know, development is taking place right now. But yeah, so a quick update, hey? Now, pile number one is on your left, pile number four is on your right. As usual, we don't have any stones, we don't have any shells here today. Uh, reason for that, um, as many of you know, is for you to tune in, listen to your gut, your intuition knows exactly what to pick, and I'm not giving you shortcuts. And I know some of you hate that, but, um, you know, I like tough love and tough development. So I <laughs> hope it's helping. And thank you guys. A lot of you have said, actually, this has helped. So pick your pile. Stop the video if you need some more time. I'll catch you there. Hey, pile one. So let's see what's up. I have only two cards to start with because I'm going to be shuffling on camera, having a chat with you. Um, I don't even know which decks I'm going to be using for you here today, but let's start with these cards. This is the, uh, I believe, the Dreams of Gaia. Is that true? I'm not sure. Sorry, I have so many decks. I don't remember names, but most of the decks are on my channel in the description box if you need them. Okay. Right. So these cards, straight away, I read them a bit differently. I tune into the imagery mostly and I try to kind of channel what um, the author tried to say with these cards. Because some of them are not, you know, representation is a bit different from what I would usually see in the meanings in a book. Now, what I want to say for you guys, pile number one. Straight away, as you probably noticed, we have double four. So that number might be important to you. If that's not the number, uh, this is going to be your stability. You're going to be focusing on um, almost like uh, building a little bit of a, of a more stable ground for yourself. Whatever that would mean for you guys. I'm seeing someone who might be struggling with um, their thoughts. Um, someone who might be struggling to see, you know, through the mist, I almost want to say. So maybe you had to give yourself a bit extra time to rest um, because there was almost like I'm seeing a need for someone to relax. Um, if that's not the case, you might be expecting that in the future. Remember, I'm reading for a lot of people. This is general. Filter the messages out. But overall, you know exactly where you're going and what you need to take from life the next week. There might be a moment of like, mm, I don't know what to do, I don't know what's happening. But overall, I feel like you, I'd say three days from now, more or less, you're going to come back on track. All right, let's see what is up. See, the next week or so, you are seeking for balance. So maybe uh, you're going to decide to um, say if you were spending more time on something and you didn't feel like you were getting enough back, you either going to decide to amend certain things, your schedule, your pricing, whatever that would be. Okay, maybe spending a bit more time with yourself because you're gathering your energy for a new chapter almost I'm seeing here. Let's see what else we got. We have this stuff. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, this is interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. 
so we have more of that fire coming through here overall it does seem like you guys might discover something that you're going to be super hyped about um, there is some kind of a connection with water here even in the star card we uh, the first thing that i looked at was this person standing halfway in the water here i'd say you know we know about water water is emotions water is cleansing so maybe that's something that you're doing for yourself or maybe you're helping other people to find themselves this is one or the other because we have that duality here in the four of of uh, cups right here the way that i read this card is that duality you know i have two sides of me and in the two of pentacles we have kind of the same story it does seem like someone is going to try and get to the bottom of uh, who they are what they are capable of and what to do next i'd say watch watch what you drink in the next week or week and a half um kind of pay attention to liquids that you consume in water intake that's something that's coming through and i think for a lot of you your body will crave for um, more water during the next week week and a half let's take a look at your career finances how you're going to be feeling about that what's happening we have the empress you good i like that for you you're pretty proud of yourself sitting on that throne but it seems like you won't want to show um, either how abundant you are or how much you earn maybe there's gonna be a question asked about that um, maybe you're just gonna feel a bit you know mysterious and you won't want to give away too much about your abundance um, you know abundance is quite a broad term so that doesn't have to be finances only we have the three of wands here yeah it's like you you know that a new chapter is on the horizon i do believe that there was one chapter that's over and done with and you're looking towards a new horizon now okay there, there is a new start there is a fresh beginning of some sort and you're like okay i feel like something is coming it's uh, you know taken from these cards it's still kind of intuitive but you feel that something is coming your way and it might be big or it might be very influential for you we have the six of cups you know it does seem like either you're focusing on something that you used to do before or you used to be good at career-wise and somehow you're implementing that plus something else almost like an addition a bonus uh, to what it is that you're capable of let's let gravity do the work and the page of cups it's all about being curious like a kid the next week i'd say explore again we have water here you see explore connect to water overall that's going to be important okay maybe symbolism maybe there is something that you're going to decide to drink maybe tea of some sort maybe water intake whatever that would be maybe emotional cleansing right for all of you this might be different but they seem like you won't want to spill that water whatever that represents to you in your life and you're like ah i gotta keep it intact i have to keep it going uh, because there is something precious that i'm holding in my hands remember this is career wise let's take a look at your relationships it does seem like someone knows how good you are at something so either you're getting a compliment or you're being really appreciated or someone's keeping an eye on your abilities relationships i want the first card only we have lovers just confirming we're talking about connections here tower you have majors coming out here for relationships so expect the biggest shift in your in your relationships connections friends family lovers um, partners husbands and wives and you have the ace of swords it does seem like someone might mm, almost like speak their heart out to you which will shift your perspective about how you see this person or by a very open conversation you will see a situation a bit differently a big change of mindset when it comes to relationships the next week what was no more it's shifting it's changing it's growing it's evolving 
Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone is walking your way. Four of Cups. Judgment. Yeah, there is a there is one relationship in your life that's gonna be upgraded. That's for sure. So expect almost like a rebirth. Expect a rebirth. For, uh, at first, it might not feel like you know unicorns and rainbows, but it's needed. It's almost like it's pre-written, um, and that has to happen. And I'm seeing um, two uh, people here. So one of them is you, and the other one might be the person that you're dealing with. One of the people is pretty happy. And the other one is a bit like, mm, what do I want to do? Do I want to take this offer? You know, do I want to um, take this suggestion or do I want to decide? It's almost like, do I want to be on my own or spend a bit more time on my own? Uh, maybe some of you won't want to socialize as much or you're going to decide to take some time for yourself a bit more. And you're going to be like, ah, let me look at my emotions. You know, it's all about emotions the next week for you guys. Yeah, starting over, you see? There's some kind of an inspiration. Inspiration coming from a connection of some sorts. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is being patient. Someone is very um, decalculating their next move. And the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, expect proposals, expect opportunities, connecting to people who are important in your life the next week. One relationship in particular will be changing, okay, changing big time, there's an upgrade. So let's say if this is the person that you meant to be with or you need to, you know, to change your dynamics in your relationship, expect that shift happening. If this isn't the person that you're supposed to be with, expect that foundation to be demolished. Okay, in order for something new to come in. Let's pull a couple of cards and let's see um, how the energy is going to be. I just want to check purely energies. File number one, energy-wise, what's happening? Energy-wise, what's happening, pile one? Yeah, see, I'm sorry. Um, it does seem like um, there might be, um, again, it's all about relationship. Uh, maybe you're deciding to forgive someone. It's all about forgiveness. It's all about understanding why two people met and what was the lesson in that connection. Or maybe someone is going to be really grateful about what it is that you decide to tell them. I'm hearing my eyes are wide open now. I know now. Let's see. Okay, during that time, try, try to stay as grounded as possible. And we have the Earth School. And Earth is the school, right? So we have Life Lesson, Soul Growth, Study, Higher Learning. Yeah, so listen now, for because I'm reading for so many people, the next week will be the week when you're going to be shown what you still need to learn. Especially when it comes to relationship, karmic dealings, um, contracts, and forgiving people in your life. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, we have the I'm sorry card that ties in very nicely with the two of pentacles right here. See that imagery? So we have that duality here. And here in, in the mirror of this person, we have two people's faces. So two, 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 right? I'd say for you guys, what's important is uh, purely relationship because you're going to be shown a lot of things about you um, and what's happening around you and relationships with other people. Someone might come and say, hey, you know, I screwed up, I fucked up. 
you know i really want to apologize for what i've done for others of you you're gonna find forgiveness in your heart for someone else this is gonna be a big you know leap for you because um and i'm saying leap and we have the earth school she's leaping here right she's like i know exactly why this happened and the way it happened and uh, now i can see with a fool i want to start this journey over and take that ace of pentacles for some type of new beginning of or offer we have the um, Hirayath, longing for home, homesick for the stars. So you might feel a bit, you know, like up in the air the next week, week and a half, because the energies might be running high a bit, especially when it comes to your emotions, okay? So distract yourself. Um, try to stay as grounded as possible throughout that time, because that's what's going to be needed. And, you know, the more grounded you are, the clearer the messages, the, clear, the louder the intuition now let's take a look at a couple of messages from i don't know what you're closest with either your higher self some of your ancestors some of your guides let's see or can be just an overall you know advice for you guys let's take the animal tarot i'm just going to be reading these ones out for you what does pile number one need to know I'm going to split you into um, a group and either you can listen to all of the three cards or you can pick one. Okay. So that's group number one, group number two, and I'll pull one more. And group number three. Take a moment. If you need to stop the video here, we're starting with group number one. It says three of spring, which is three of wands. It says stop to take time to review and make long term plans, capitalizing upon your past success. It's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all you, your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. Now, numbers two. King of Summer, a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. And by the way, this person is probably intuitive too. Number three, Ego. You may feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. So I hope that this was helpful. Pile number one. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Hey, pal number two. So let's take a look at your cards. Um, I'm not sure still which deck I'm going to use for you. I'll do it intuitively. Let's start with these. We have the Queen of Fire and the Sage. Mm. Okay, straight away, guys. Um, I don't know what you're closest with, but either your guide or your ancestor is going to be really present with you the next week. Okay, straight away. Um, for some of you, I'd say pay attention to your animals, domestic animals, because um, they'll be reacting to certain situations and you'll be able to pick up. What is that about? Example, if you're having a conversation with someone that you feel funny about, um, your animal will show that to you by their, you know, behavior. Um, overall, this is a week of wisdom. This is a week of wisdom. This is a week of action, creativity. So you might be drawn to, you know, um, your creative projects of some sorts, whatever it is that you are doing. It's saying there is a lot of wisdom that you can share with the world. Keep on doing whatever you are doing because you bring in a lot of light and wisdom to everyone around you good start we like that okay let's use the super lunaris for you guys let me get that deck out three cards what's happening next week what can you expect remember because i'm reading for a lot of people some of you have gone through certain things already some of you will be going through that filter messages out Okay. So we're starting with the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords. And 
and the three of cups bottom of the deck is the seven of cups okay whatever you choose will be correct that's the message panel number two okay um it does seem like some of you might be a bit you know i'm seeing you in and out um the message for panel number two not everything has to be so difficult this is saying go enjoy your life as much as you can um reach out to your friends um, your family members, those that you care about, because it does seem like people will be very grateful for your presence in their life the next week. Okay, would it be your family members, friends, lovers, uh, partners, um, or business partners even? Overall, you're going to shine a lot of light uh, for people the next week, week and a half. And you're going to be pretty happy where you're at. I like that. Emotionally, you are on top of a mountain I'm seeing here. Now, with the five of um, swords here, what I'm seeing with the seven of cups here as well, um, you might be conflicted about some type of decision here. What do I choose? What do I do? So maybe some of you are multi-talented and maybe you're going to find um, it difficult to decide what to prioritize, which task to prioritize. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be only about talents. Let's say if you have family, you know, children, and you, if you have a hobby and, and a job, and you're like, oh, what do I do first? So once you're going to be in that moment, because you're going to be pretty fired up the next week, when, week and a half, the, the cards are asking you to um, go and play. Don't forget to play and reward yourself for everything that you have already accomplished, okay? Because your um, inner child has to be... Um, present with you the next week week and a half because that's something that's going to help you out in your future endeavors too the more you enjoy your life um, and also at the same time prioritize what needs to be done the easier it is not everything has to be so difficult that's the message for pile number two you don't have to be feeling stressed all the time uh, you don't have to be you know um, on top of your game every single day whenever you feel like you want to take a bit of a break even 10 minutes do so you need rejuvenation okay let's take this back let's take a look at your career career finances the next week week and a half for once Knight of Swords. You're going to be very action driven the next week, week and a half. Let's take a look at the Three of Swords here. Clarify that for me, please. We have double three, if you noticed. We have the Ten of Wands. I told you, right? If you're going to overburden yourself, you might hurt yourself the next week, week and a half. I'd say watch your back. You know, sometimes people um, do not want to waste their time by, you know, going back and picking stuff up. I'll do it with one go. Uh, that would be not the best decision the next week, week and a half. Watch out for your back, your, your health overall. Don't push yourself too much, this is saying, okay? Be patient. Everything is going to be done on time. Make sure you have those breaks because you're going to be so, you know, like I'm seeing an engine running. You're going to be so on top of every single task that you might actually um, either burn out or stress yourself too much and that's not necessary. Okay, every task, every decision that will be made the next week, week and a half, it has to come from heart. If your heart tells you, hey, which is your intuition, right? I'm pointing towards the heart space. If your intuition tells you, hey, let's take a minute for ourselves let's re rewind even some breath work in between tasks do that see it's interesting because we have the three of swords here which in regular tarot you'd see a um, heart and three swords in it and here in the ten of wands you have that little heart on the wall so i'd say watch how much pressure you put on yourself because you'll need to take a moment for yourself and to take a step back okay have a good balance when it comes to work the next week week and a half there was one more message here. Let's see. Patience, patience, patience. You have planted all the seeds. You've done already enough 
right now is a time when you observe all of that fruit those plants grow anything else I'm clarifying the king of swords uh, sorry the knight of swords by the way you might be drawn to helping other people who are not as um, capable of helping themselves the next week week and a half but again you juggle in so whenever you want to help others make sure that you have enough energy because otherwise you're gonna be uh, too drained for yourself and you won't be able to perform as well so just have that good balance okay a bit like in two of Pentacles the guy is balancing the two out just remember that there might be some type of a symbolism that's going to be important and that will come up throughout the week of ships maybe that's something close to your heart already um if that's the case look it up do some research see what it wants to tell you at that moment and take a look at your relationships we have the empress if anyone is pregnant congratulations we have the emperor boom <laughs> solid relationships the next week for sure especially if you are married knight of wands eight of swords okay now this is story is not going to be for everyone for sure filter messages out uh but what i'm seeing here yeah exactly three of swords is here um someone is going someone is appreciating you the next week week and a half and i do believe that someone might have expectations from you where you might not even notice that you're like mm, living my best life you know have all the people that i need in my circle and someone might storm back into your life or reach out to you and uh, kind of take you by surprise and you're very grounded throughout this you know connection that's what i'm seeing but i do see that someone might be um, a little bit stuck in their own mind their own thoughts maybe creating scenarios that are not necessarily true which might lead to a bit of disappointment maybe possible heartbreak so something might be said that might be hurtful for other person but it does seem like um, it's because that person I'm, I keep hearing it's too late now or someone is in partnership and maybe someone might be hitting on the other person meaning you right and you're like mm, i'm good thank you even if you're not in partnership you're just not focused on that you see and i think that's why someone will be like damn it you know it didn't go the way that i've planned let's split the deck let's see what else see um very protective over your energy um, maybe some of you are going to be like mm, don't want that <laughs> or maybe someone is coming back to your life whom you don't want to have you know connection with and you're going to be like no you know what i'm good thank you very much <laughs> what is going on here yeah it's standing in your power we have the queen of wands twice here uh so someone is really happy where they're at in life and um you're gonna be you're gonna be attracting a lot of people and you it's not only romantic okay don't get me wrong you're just gonna have this magnetic almost pull you know towards you and other people will want to reach out other people will show you affection other people will tell you how great you're doing or expect random you know compliments and um, overall it's because you're standing in your power and it's going to be felt by a lot of people and I'm seeing someone has a crush on you or someone really wants to show you their heart but I keep hearing it's too late or that's not something that I'm looking for okay see someone really wants to offer something to you here would you take this <laughs> would you take this yeah but overall it does seem like someone oh i don't want to say that but i'm just gonna tell you what i'm seeing in cards i just have to uh, someone is um pretty immature for someone else and they're like oh really i'm sorry but you know you're not i don't want to say you're not in my league but that's how it feels like to me here 
Um, and it can be purely due to age or to experiences in life. But someone is going to be like, I don't know. Now, there is one more story. There's one more story. You might be offered something, especially if you tend to be a mentor for someone else or for a group of people or people look up to you. You might be offered something, okay? And um, it does seem like someone wants to share their wisdom with you or vice versa. That's what I'm picking up here. Someone has a lot of wisdom to offer. But again, we have the Eight of Cups here. You see, someone is declining someone here. An offer, an agreement of some sort. Because they have something better. Or they have their eyes on something better. Whatever that would be. We split the deck and we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Queen of stores yeah someone is going to be pretty straightforward the next week week and a half and they're going to be like mm, you know what i'm going to tell it tell you straight what i'm thinking so again i don't want to put you in a box it can be you or someone else but someone has their boundaries pretty straight and they know exactly what they want and they're not taking anything less than okay that was quite interesting panel number two <laughs> no thank you <laughs> Um, I wish I could explain how it feels like to me because it's all about feelings. Sometimes I can't um, explain everything, you know, how I'm feeling. But overall, panel number two is very focused on either mentorship, learning, expanding their knowledge. Um, and that's their priority. Now, I'm going to pull messages for you guys. You can either listen to them all or you can choose message one, two or three for yourself. let's see so that's number one that's number two that's number three if you need some more time stop the video right here we start with number one it says okay we have ego twice here today had we had it in panel number one you may feel that you are trapped in your situation but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free from negative thinking number two Two of summer, you are falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. Overall, this card, you know, it's quite straightforward, the message. But overall, this card is telling you that expect a deepening of connection in your surroundings overall. Okay, whatever that connection would be. Number three. Um, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. And I'd also say, hey, you know, take time to learn or if you're writing, write because that's going to be a great time for that. I hope this made sense. Panel number two, Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Hey tribe, whoever has picked pile number three. So let's see what we have for you guys. I'm going to start with these couple of cards that I have pre-pulled and I'll see which deck I want to use for you here today. So what can you expect the next week, week and a half? You have great stuff. I like that for you. Um, <laughs> honestly, you know, it does seem like someone's going to feel a bit overwhelmed by the abundance that they are getting. So I'd say uh, watch out for self-sabotage, okay? Especially with this card here. Because some of you might be getting quite a lot. Let's say it can come in many ways, right? It can be happiness, it can be finance, it can be love. Whatever that would be, um, your cards are just asking you not to self-sabotage that and allow yourself to feel happy and open your arms to everything that is going to be flowing your way. Because some of you sometimes might be feeling guilty. Why is thing, what are things are going the way that they're going? Um, is there something that's going to happen? You know, um, it's, it's that kind of mindset that you have to watch out for. But overall, we have great stuff. Um, you're going to be pretty happy where you're at. But do you believe that some of you have worked really hard to get where you are 
right now. So for you, I want to use the in-between tarot and let's see what it says. Overall, I just want three cards to start with. Then we're going to be looking at your career and your uh, relationships. What's happening the next week, week and a half? Okay, that card wants to come up. We have the Queen of Swords. Three of Cups. Someone's looking after you here, pile number three. Someone is looking after you big time here. It does seem like someone wants to help you out. Someone is by your side, especially if you're going to be going through or right now, maybe you're going through, remember to filter the messages. We're all in different time frames, right? But um, especially if you're going to be going through, you know, a bit of, um, I want to say a mind fuck, you know, that's how I'm seeing this. Um, someone really cares for you and someone's going to have your back, which I love seeing here. And again, you know, here we here we go. Eight of Swords. Watch out for self sabotage. Okay, let's take a look. Take a look at your career finances. Um, good time for honesty in friendships, um, or yeah, honesty in anything that you want to hold back you know it's saying speak what it is that's on your mind what's bothering you because people will want to listen to you the next week week and a half and you're gonna find very sweet connections so for career and finances we have the five of wands we have the empress some kind of partnership that you're making here it seems like maybe you're becoming closer to your co-worker to your partners maybe colleagues and the wheel of fortune here you go i like this for you this is a really really good time for career endeavors especially when it comes to partnerships uh, contracts um, dealings with other people and all of that stuff if you feel like you have to fight for something the next week if let's say you have an interview and you have to be competitive know that the luck is going to be on your side okay formalities contracts anything to do with that yeah and the two of cups is here look this is all about connections with other people i like that for you it does seem like there's going to be one connection in your work in your surroundings maybe a new partnership of some sort or someone that you're going to talk to about your work um who's going to almost like confirm this is a confirmation that you're exactly on the right path and everything will start flowing much more naturally um easier the next week week and a half let's split the deck let's see what else Again, you see, we have scales here in the wheel and we have it in a justice. So karmically, what's happening here, what belongs to you is going to be yours. And this is good karma that's coming your way. OK, sometimes maybe you don't you don't see where exactly you're being guided towards to, but you just need to listen to your heart because this girl over here, she can't see where she's going. She's just trusting it. And if you see in the wheel of fortune, See the reflection on the sword right here? Someone is being literally divinely guided. Where they're going is exactly where they need to be. So I'd say enjoy the next week, you know? Communicate with other people. Review your contracts or maybe new contracts that you want to sign. I'm seeing a lot of documents, formalities that might be filled or you'll be talking about that, you know? Uh, partnerships, this is a great time for that. Let's see, Five of Cups. And the Chariot. It seems like you're moving from a difficult situation. Um, so if you had a stop in your work, if you felt like things were not going the way you want them to, or you had to change some things, the next week will be time for upgrades. Um, you're going to be really respected um, and you also can expect almost like universal gifts. I almost want to say 
yeah i'm gonna say it that way universal gifts let's take a look at your relationships uh would it be friendships romance family whatever will come up for you the next week week and a half let's see what we have we have the eight of cups seems like you might want to spend a bit more time on your own or focus on your endeavors a star yeah exactly see You're very focused on your dreams and it does seem like you will want to withdraw a little bit not in a bad way but you're just gonna need some time for yourself chariot is back see even in even this guy in the chariot chilling completely um, maybe you are going to be getting a lot of information from above would it be source God whatever you believe in uh, regarding your but this is all about self guys this is a relationship with yourself that's what we are touching on here um, it's like you're being hided, um, hided, guided by a higher power and a lot of answers will be given to you the next week, week and a half, maybe signs that you're going to be seeing or confirmations that you will be getting. You'll want to prove something to someone here as well. You have a lot to say. So first off, you're taking some time to contemplate and to figure yourself out. Uh, some of you are recharging, gaining back your energy. Maybe you, you'll feel like you need that. And afterwards, you're coming back strong um, and you're very action-based. I'm seeing someone teaching or someone learning some, um, something. So if you are a teacher, this is a great time. You might get a lot of downloads or information that you need in order to teach people. Or um, if you are a student, or if you're trying to learn something, the information will find you. Ten of Wands is twice here. Someone is reigniting their own um, their own fire. Three of Wands. Home will be really important the next week, week and a half. So whoever you live with, expect relationships deepening, okay? Yeah, someone will want to really uh, pay attention to family a bit more, self and everything that matters here and now, especially in your surroundings. Um, I'm also seeing the queen of coins i keep looking at that baby so maybe you have a newborn if that's um the case congratulations or you might just become closer to your child if you don't have a child this can be a representation of your inner child as well right becoming closer to your inner child let's clarify the ten of wands what is it that you feel like you are burdened by yes yeah, six of wands Burdened by your successes, literally, guys. Ten of Wands and, and Six of Wands. I told you, um, keep your eye, keep your eyes, keep your heart, keep your arms open when it comes to good stuff coming in. Don't fight back uh, based on fear. And a lot of people do it subconsciously, and they don't even notice that. So I think this is going to be a bit of a test for you. Um, how how happy are you allowing yourself to be? When think something great happens. Um, are you like yes I deserve it or are you like oh thank you so much but mm, what's gonna happen next no ditch that this is saying okay this is gonna be a week to recognize that and to completely cancel that out it's a journey I know it might take some time um, especially if you haven't acknowledged that just yet so just remember when anytime you're doing that okay and we have death yeah completely see changing changing the way you see things what was no more i'm changing rebirth expect a rebirth guys pile number three i think energetically at one point um you might be feeling a bit up in the air so grounding will be important and justice is here again this is a big week for you guys 
um, a really big week because it does seem like your, I want to say your spirit, you know, your soul is going to be guiding you. So um, hear it. Um, you know, the busier the mind, the quieter the intuition. So just remember that because you're going to be guided big time. Okay, you're rising up, pile number three, and accept that and embrace that and take everything that's being given to you. Now, I'm going to pull three cards for you guys. Um, if you want to listen to all of them, you can. Uh, but I'm not going to show you them um, because I'm going to do a pile within a pile. So you can choose one out of three or you can listen to them all. And that's pile number one. Well, pile, shall we call you groups? Because it's only one card. That's four. Number is two. And number is three. So if you need some more time, stop the video, choose yours. And we're starting with group number one. All right, this is haunting us in collective reading today. It says you may feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. Now, this card came up in pile number one and pile number two. Now, this is all about relationship with finances. Have a healthy relationship with finances, abundance and all of that stuff, okay? We have life experience in numbers two says important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move to new in new directions you know are right for you. So spring, your vision, creativity and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist you in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. So pile number three, that was a great message. Hopefully it's um, helpful to you now and I'll catch you soon. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. Hey, pile number four. So first off, we're going to start with two cards that I have pre-pulled for you guys and then we'll see which deck I want to use for you. So you've got i read these cards by the way by imagery mostly we have the counselor and the nine of wands okay so what we have here i'd say be open to someone's suggestions or advice or wisdom that they have to offer the next week week and a half if you are the one who is offering wisdom to other people um almost like i want to say keep your mind and heart open because sometimes you might want to be a bit you know closed off or a little bit defensive. So just kind of recognize that if that happens. But overall, this is gonna be a good week for those who are almost like healing by what they have to say or what they do in their life, career-wise. I wanna choose the, one second guys, let me get that deck. The Haunted House Tarot. Give me a moment here, we have a bit of mixed cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we need to know? Three cards only to start the reading off. Seven of Swords. Oh, Queen of Swords. Be truthful the next week, week and a half. Any secrets that are withheld, information that's being withheld, it's gonna come to light literally she's holding the light right it's gonna come to light and um it does seem like learning uh, writing for some of you reading books is going to be important i want to clarify the seven of swords here what is this card talking about exactly it, see, I told you, the information will be shown. Whatever is being hidden from you, it's, it's going to surprise, something is going to surprise you, something that you didn't know about, okay? Something was hidden from you, or if you keep in secrets from someone else, you might decide to just pour your heart out. But overall, it does seem like to someone, this is going to be a big release and relief 
I, I want to say as well because after that intense moment you know oh I said it or I said it to them or you said it to someone I feel much better now because I did it I should have done it some time ago so uh, maybe you're not aware of what it is just yet it's completely fine again filter messages out this is a general reading um, take what sits right with your soul right now let's take a look at your work finances career what's happening eight of cups Someone might be coming back home or changing jobs here. I'm seeing thinking about changing jobs. Whatever the case, it does seem like there is a big change. Maybe someone is leaving from your workplace as well. This can be happening too. It doesn't have to be only you, but someone is leaving for sure. Uh, maybe someone from your workplace or you have finished something and you have to move on now. But the, the message that I'm getting here, it's almost like I'm seeing something better or I want to do something better. I want to do better. You know, that chapter is over and done with for me. Let me um, see how to play my game in order for me to be a winner. Someone might be taking a risk of some sorts here. It can be, you know, um, anything when it comes to finances, the contracts, uh, work situations. If that's you, you probably already know about that. Because this has been pre-planned. Yeah, someone doesn't want to take an offer here as well. Someone's like, I don't want this anymore. Or I don't want this. Right? Um, let me think about that. I feel like there is something better for me and truly with six of wands it does seem like there is a success here that's waiting for you with that decision and the emperor is here um, I'd say this is a week when it comes to work finances to be structured organized calculate your decisions and be pre prepared for anything that you are encountering um, and um, yeah, it does seem like it's almost like a life-changing decision for some of you, not all. Uh, for others of you, you're being asked to pay attention to details at work, um, read the small font and all of that jazz, okay? Your boss might be important next week, week and a half, or you might, um, you might have a strong connection or important connection or communication with someone who tends to hold those boss type of qualities okay I'm seeing two people one of them is um, comes from I want to say almost like the logical mindset they need facts they need structure and the other one is much more intuitive so I'm seeing two people in the picture here and there's that communication happening Yeah, and somehow this is going to take someone to new endeavors or a new chapter. It's going to give that person more freedom. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like someone is, is about to be ready to be released. And they are stepping into a more lighthearted type of energy, if I can put it that way. I almost want to like breathe in and breathe out. Let's take a look at your relationships. Would it be romantic? Would it be uh, family, relatives, friends? What do you need to know about your relationships? Two of Wands. My least favorite card just because the, by the imagery of it. Don't do that stuff. <laughs> I like to, you know, some people are young watching this. They don't know the consequences sometimes. It's a game, right? And then it comes after you. <laughs> How many of you tried that before and it did come after you? Let me know. All right. Relationships. Let's see. What's going on there? Again, you have six of wands twice in career and relationships. It does seem like someone is afraid to fail, even though they're not going to be failing. That's what I'm getting here. Someone's like, oh, or someone is trying to play small and that's not going to work for you the next week, week and a half. Don't play small. 
This might be connected to friendships. I keep hearing, what do I do, what do I do? Yeah, and um, some kind of relationship is ascending or changing completely. And it has to happen that way. Let's see what, what you can expect with that judgment here. Yeah, see? Great. Ten of Cups is here. Someone is shitting their pants. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know why, but it doesn't seem like it's necessary. So I'd say track your stress levels the next week or what you're afraid of because your fears will be shown to you and it's going to be shown to you for a reason. Are you exaggerating situations? Are you afraid of some things that you just make in your, in your mind, scenarios that you make in your mind that's not necessarily representation of the truth? It's saying just kind of track yourself. But overall, you're going to be pretty happy um, that a relationship has changed or someone has been called, I want to say someone has been called or will be called um, to step up their game or to see the situation for what it is from above, from 360, right? Someone is going to open their eyes, I'm seeing here. Someone really needs to acknowledge that they hold so much more light and um, talent and abilities than they think that they do. Mm -hmm. See, literally she's holding the, can the candles. So what I'm picking up here too, someone really finds someone really alluring here when it comes to relationships um um someone's gonna have a high sex drive the next week week and a half um or would it be you or someone else if that's someone else you bet you're gonna know from them about that they might say something you know you might see it in their eyes they might express themselves somehow where you're gonna be like whoa Ace of Swords. The um, Hierophant. Yeah, you know, taken from these cards, I do believe that some of you are cleansing your energy um, or energetic ties from, from someone from the past. That's what I'm picking up here. Like, mm, I feel like I, I need to um, cut this off. I feel like there is some kind of energy that's chasing after me. Um, or um, I feel like I'm still tied to this person. So some of you will want to get rid of that. <laughs> the Empress is here again. And what I'm seeing, again, she's holding a light. She's holding a light here in her hand, which is the ability that she has. And this woman right here, too, she's holding a light in her hands. It seems like your abilities will be needed next week, week and a half. And contain your energy, you know, leave your energy for yourself. So what happens sometimes when we are... Um, in, in chaos or um, we all over the place we're not grounded we tend imagine as if your energy is contained by the shield or boundary and it tends you know that boundary tends to thin thinner and you kind of leave you leave your energy to flow out of you in a way and um, the more grounded people are right um, the more in control they are of their energy and where they want to focus their energy so i think this is going to be important for you the next week week and a half you'll want to hold it all you will want to have full um, control of your energy and you won't want to give it just to anything or anyone seven of cups be aware of illusions the next week week and a half especially with that moon here and the seven of cups here. Um, try and differentiate what's reality and what's not, what you just made up in your head or you will be making up in your head. Because you might be a bit floaty in the next week, week and a half. Okay, I said floaty and she's running away from the water. <laughs> this is a full card, okay? Um, yeah, someone wants out. I don't know what this is about, but someone wants out. Or someone is like, I don't want this. 
And again, there is a massive ass moon right above her. She's like, I don't want those illusions. I want to see it for what it is. So maybe someone's going to want to have a conversation here. Um, and maybe that's why you have the nine of um, wands here. Someone might be a bit defensive. And for some of you, this is going to be for a reason. Try and differentiate which message is yours, which is not, right? Keep defending your energy. And this is to do with someone that you've known for a while. This isn't a new person. This is someone that you, I'd say you've known and I can't speak. You've known them for at least, um, at least four years, okay? Yeah, so watch out for people and playing mind games here. This is not for everyone. And also watch out for you playing mind games in your own headspace, okay? You're gonna have to approach situations um, as clearly as possible. Bottom of the deck, I just noticed we have the Four of Swords. Um, this is all about, you know, what you create in your head and what can be chasing after you. So don't do that the next week, week and a half. Speak to people for advice if you need that. Um, they can clarify on certain subject, you know, certain matter, because it seems like energetically you might be going through stuff. And sometimes it's difficult to listen to our intuition when we're going through energetic shifts, right? It's just a, a bit a lot. But let's take a look at your messages here as well. Now, you, want, you might want to listen to all of them. I'm going to be pulling three cards, but I won't show it to you so that if you want to, you can choose your message. All right, number one, number two, and number three. So if you need some more time and if you want to choose, stop the video right here. We're starting with numbers one. All right, it says, your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist you in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. Number two, Nine of Winter, your worries and fears are not real. We talked about this, haven't we? They are fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. Number three, you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. I hope that this made sense, pile number four. And Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon.